Oh, whoa, there, ma'am. She don't want to go to the pasture. That's a wet one. Split it up on the gate. Says 550 left. Looks pretty empty to me. I guess I'll be back. Other than this speed wagon messing up, it's gonna be a good day. Been a day long time coming. Pastures are getting ready. We're loading up pears, bringing them out to the green grass where they'll be hanging out for the next four or five months. Anyway, we've been having some trouble with this scale. The other day we were feeding and it was saying negative 30,000 pounds. I don't really know how that's possible. So it's been just jumping all over the place and hopefully this next load of feed will go all right. Try this one again. Gonna have some angry ladies if the scale messes up this time. So we gotta head to Storla Station quick. We're getting a pink guy vaccine and some mineral because we gotta bring mineral with us when we head to this pasture later today. And then we're also gonna leave that pick up there. It's getting an oil change. We already got those 10 pairs that we chased up, uh, split off the rest of the group. So we'll just split those into cows and calves, load them up in the trailer, and start headed to the pasture. So we are gonna have extra cows, which is a good thing. Better to be long than to be short. Looks like my cousin's also hauling some critters today. It's wonder if it's easiest to let the cows go north. It's a hard slappy kind of a day. Hard slappy, kind of like a hard lemonade. That kind of day. Mike's hard lemonade. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> We got 10 calves up front and we're gonna try to fit 10 cows in the back. We just gotta pour them as they run through. Back on. Uh, I see. I have this habit of when I'm driving, setting my arm right in it, you know, multiple times on the trip. And every time I say, don't! Don't! You're not only getting in danger of getting kicked back there, but they excrete some smelly stuff on you too, kind of like a skunk truck. So we were giving those calves a shot. There's some pink eye, there's some vaccine for pink eye in there. It's not life threatening, but we gotta fight it a lot during the summer. We got mineral and a mineral feeder in the in the trailer there. 10 up pairs, the 10 pairs loaded up and we're ready to go. fancy stuff. That is 
guy like he's deaf. Oh, here's the prophet. The barbed wire likes to bite you while you put 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 it on. Need the leathers for that one. Okay, here we go. Slap time. Looks like my truck's done. Woo! I should have asked them to balance the <laughs> balance the wheels because my steering wheel. There's a lot of shake to this thing. Got an extra calf on that one. That is a beautiful cow. easier than them days we'd get 40 pairs up and then it not only just be a bunch of pairs but it also be muddy like foot deep mud and then you got to wade through the mud and grab a pair at a time yeah, this is more fun and it's less manual labor <laughs> but the other thing is I don't like when there's 40 cows and 40 calves circling around by that building and we're trying to grab one at a time could hurt a calf We just got one more, hey, don't do it. We just got one more to grab and then we're gonna let them kind of pair up and know they're together while we take a little lunch break. <laughs> Help us. That is one fine specimen. For years we get the whole group up and then they'd be standing here and we'd see a pair and we'd grab and we'd grab. Well, sometimes something would get past you. And also, you know, them big cows running around in circles can trample calves.
That brings us to the song of the day. Aerosmith, living on the edge. Have a listen. Have a listen. Some cows eat the grass. Some cows look for the babies. What do you say we get the herd out of here? We just got them here. The flock out of here. Okay. Make we'll like leave. a chicken and get the... Leaf? Yep. <laughs> It looks like there's a couple having a picnic down there and fishing. It's Monday. Don't they have jobs? A real job? Because I don't have a real job. Let's do this for fun. So we got a calf out just hanging out over there. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Doesn't seem like it's gonna amount to anything. Not sure what we're gonna do the rest of the day. We might take a load of my pears to my pasture. If it's gonna sprinkle, don't, don't wanna get sick driving through the cold rain. So we got that gate open. Whenever they find it, they'll be out in the grass. Wouldn't mind if they cleaned up the bunks first before they went. But I'm sure they don't care what I would mind or not mind. So tomorrow we're gonna take my pears out to pasture. But one problem is, I got a couple cows that we had to get rid of, but I need a handful more to fill my pasture. One got, one cow got sick, we got rid of one last fall, and then three of them aren't gonna calve in time to be ready for pasture. I'm gonna steal five of dad's pears, and we're gonna get those ready for tomorrow, get them up and sort it off. Someone took all the good cows and calves already. I think that's from that big wind the other day. It opened some windows. My face is dirty. It's pretty dusty out there. Those are pheasant eggs. There's like 10 of them. Wow, I didn't know they could lay that many. Having some issues, my bolt broke here. And so now we're having it where the drive wheel is spinning, but this one isn't. That was kind of frustrating. A lot of this wire is just terrible. You start wrapping it and it breaks. It's been stuck under the mud for so long, it's just so weak. I actually saw two flies take their honeymoon on one of them wires and they snapped it right in two. Cleaning out the planter, eh? Hey. Yep. Yep. You're not so clean yourself. Nope. All right. Yeah, we finished planting last Friday, so we'll be able to park this in the back and unhook it. And then at some point, we got to get that drill hooked up so we can drill sorghum out here and chop that later this fall.
So all of Dad's cattle are out to pasture that are going to get there anyway. Mm. He does have a few left that are going to get sold to some other people, and they'll, they'll go to someone else's pasture. And tomorrow we'll, we'll get mine out to pasture. And Jeff says he's ready too, so we got big day now. Um, we should have done more today. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Hey, buddy, what's hanging? <laughs> what? I asked him what's hanging. Oh. Shmeet.